Why is an SQL database so good at applications like recipe management? The reason? A recipe is perfectly organized in a table. For example, column one is truck wheel. Then in the next thousand columns are the truck wheel parameters like size, color, etc. Guess what an SQL database is? You guessed it, it's a table. Your recipe is going to be stored in what's called an SQL relational database. If you've never worked with an SQL relational database, for your part, just think Excel. Now I'm going to give you the cheat sheet of what you need if you want to convey to your IT manager that owns the SQL database how she might configure her SQL database for you. What's in the top row of your SQL database? In techie terms, the top row contains headers. Simply put, these are your column names. For our truck wheel recipe, this is a thousand column names and they'll be called things like part type, size, color, etc. Below the top row, under the column names, is your recipe parameters. Maybe you'll have 10 more rows because you're making 10 different wheel types. The parameters going across might be standard mag wheel, 16 inch, black, etc. The next row is premium mag wheel, 19 inch, gray, etc. Maybe you heard your IT manager say, what's your database schema? That's the techie way to say, what are your column headers, how many columns do you have, how many rows do you have. Tell her, hey, I'm going to give you a spreadsheet with column names, rows with the 10 parts or recipes, and you'll see a thousand columns of information for each part we're going to make. Now you're going to look pretty smart. You've just described the database schema and the contents to the IT manager in enough detail that she at least knows what to expect and she knows that you know what you're talking about. When she receives your spreadsheet, she can easily create the SQL database for you. How does this all come together? The IT manager is going to build you an SQL table complete with all of your recipes. On the control system side, you're going to create your logic with writable tags. You don't need to create 10 recipes in the PLC. In the PLC, you just need to create one logic set with writable tags. With your tag variables created in the PLC and your table created in the SQL database, the only thing left to do is to map the SQL table to the PLC tags in what's called a message path. That's where Softing's team manager comes in. Team manager is going to make mapping really simple for you. Once you create the tags in the PLC and your IT manager creates the SQL table, team manager has the capability to browse those tags and tables and allows you to draw connections between the table entries and tags. This connection is called the map. Now let's look at what happens when an order gets placed by a customer for truck wheels. We'll also see what happens with your tables, tags, and the wheel as it enters the production line. Let's have a look at the whole picture, OT to IT convergence.